doggy. Well, I happen to take care of business this weekend at my pre-release events, and I have put together something pretty interesting uh, for all of you uh, to enjoy. And I'm pretty sure you know what it is because you read the title. And, you know, we have a box of Aether Revolt. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. And what are we going to do with that box? Open it. When are we going to do it? Now. <laughs> well, ooh, new pack smell. Now, I noticed there may be a trend with the left side of these boxes. So let's kind of put it out like it came. I'm not really looking for anything in particular in this box. But... Um, I will read the rares this time around because it's new. And uh, let's get right into it. You know what I need to do? I need to get my commons box there. All right, we have Outland Boar, Aerial Modification, Consulate Dreadnought, gross. And our very first rare is Aether Tide Whale, a six mana, six four with flying. When it enters the battlefield, you get what looks like six energy. And if you pay four, uh, you can return it to its owner's hand. Okay. Maybe this time around, uh, it seems like these the pre-release side of packs are always extra spicy. So maybe this box will be extra spicy. It's hard to know for sure. Daredevil Dragster. Aerial Modification again, Maverick Thopterist, and we have Green Wheel Liberator, 2 mana, 2 1 with Revolt, uh, when it enters the battlefield with, or I'm sorry, it enters the battlefield 2 1 1 counters on it, if a permanent you control left the battlefield this turn, that seems pretty good um, in response to removal, second main phase, or uh, trading and combat, like it does make combat a little trickier, knowing when to trade, and, and you know, because, uh, uh, four, three for two is pretty good. We have a servo token and a land. Well, how was your pre-release? I hope it was super spicy. Mine definitely was. Always enjoy pre-release, regardless of kind of what goes on throughout the year or throughout the season. Rogue Refiner, Gremlin Infestation, Lifecraft Awakening, and a Whir of Invention. X and three blue, so three blue and however many mana you would like to pay. For uh, And you also have Improvise. Um, search your library for an artifact card with converted mana cost of X or less. Put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library. Well, that could get pretty, pretty broken. Um, we have our legendary monkey token. Especially if you're seeking out like a giant bomb, artifact bomb to win the game. That's an interesting card. That may, I don't know. Anytime you can kind of cast something at a value plus a tutor at the same time, that seems pretty good. Lifecrafter's Gift, Winding Constrictor, Lifecraft Awakening, and we have a Yahini's Expertise. Four mana, all creatures get minus three, minus three till X a turn. Um, you may cast a card with a converted mana cost of three or less from your hand without paying the mana cost. So again, value, value, value. Early board wipe, plus you could lay another creature down. We have a Countless Gear Renegade Foil. I do uh, think the art in this set is amazing, and the pack colors they chose again, I think they did a great job with it. Deadeye Harpooner. Reckless Racer, Efficient Construction, and we have a Spire of Industry. Uh, tap for a colorless mana or a wasteland. I mean, a waste mana. And you can pay one life. Tap and pay one life. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Activate this ability only if you control an artifact. So there are better cards that do this in the many formats, but in limited, um, not terrible as a, as a fixer. Not great, but not terrible. Shielded Aether Thief. Crackdown Construct. Efficient Construction. And we have Battle at the Bridge. X and a black. 
with improvise. So again, you can tap a bunch of artifacts to make it even bigger. Target creature gets minus X minus X till end of turn, and you gain X life. This will be a big swing in um, limited play and possibly constructed. Um, it's sorcery speed, so that's kind of a bummer, but think that's what they want. Less feel bads. Narum Renegade, wield, weld fast engineer, sky requisitioner, beautiful lady, and we have inspiring statuary. Three mana, non artifact spells you cast have improvise. Okay. It remains to be seen just how crazy the Thopter servo decks are going to be using Improvise if they won't use Improvise. Um, but certainly in the limited world, uh, it seems pretty strong. Unearthed Express, that's a cool art. It's like a rhino train. Foundry Hornet, Pacification Array. We have our first Mythic, Lightning Runner. 5 mana 2-2 two, two with Double Strike and Haste. Uh, whenever it attacks, you get two energy. Then you may pay, uh, what, two, four, six, eight energy. If you pay, untap all creatures you control and uh, after this phase, and there's an additional combat phase. So in a red-green energy build, that can be pretty spicy. I mean, I don't know about any other types of builds. It is five mana. Um, but with haste and double strike, meh. I'd, I'd like to wait till I had seven mana and be able to cast some sort of pump spell on it to keep it alive, but Shielded Aether Sheaf, the Sheaf, Thief, Maverick, Thopterist, Enraged Giant, great art, and we have Barrel Chief of Compliance, a Human Wizard 1-3 for two. Instant and Sorcery spells you cast cost one less, very strong. Whenever you cast a spell or ability, Whenever a spell or ability you control counters a spell, you may draw a card. If you do, discard a card. So it adds loot to any counter spell you cast. Interesting. Weldfast Engineer, Pima Aether Seer, Renegade Wheel Smith, and our second mythic. Aetherwind Basker, seven mana for a seven seven with trample, and when it enters a battlefield or attacks, you get one energy. Pay one energy, and it gets plus one plus one till end of turn. Perfect finisher. I feel like maybe we could zoom in a little bit here. What do you think? Oh, sorry, shook you around there. I feel like maybe somebody's already said that in the comment section, and now you feel like I'm reading your mind. Ornithopter, Foundry Hornet, Aerial Modification, and we have Midnight Entourage, 4 mana, 3, 3. Other Aetherborn you control get plus 1, plus 1. That's pretty strong if you happen to have a few in your pool, if you're playing Limited or EDH or something. Whenever Midnight Entourage or another Aetherborn you control dies, you draw a card and lose one life. Interesting. Seems pretty good. Seems like it could kill you once in a while too, but it seems worth it. Skyship Plunderer, Aeronaut Admiral, Aerial Modification. God, this is like the most common uncommon ever. And we have Aether Sphere Harvester, three mana, three, five with flying. And when it enters the battlefield, you get two energy. Pay one energy and it gains lifelink and only has a crew one. This seems really good in at least limited play. Our foil caught in the brights. Pretty good. What I heard that um, these the boxes are pretty boomer bust, but it's hard to know with this brand new set where prices are gonna land. Certainly after the Pro Tour, we'll see some stuff shift around. Deft Dismissal, Winding Constrictor, Windkin, Windkin Raiders. Baral's Expertise, I already read that one. And a Foil Hidden Stockpile, that looks great. Still waiting on our Foil Rare or the appearance of any Planeswalkers. But, Weldfast Engineer, Ridge Scale Tusker, 
Very strong card. Renegade Wheel Smith and Disallow. Nice. Counter spell. And you can also counter a triggered ability as well. So what do you think of Aether Revolt so far? Are you enjoying it? We're going to have several boxes of Aether Revolt uh, when the release comes out, I think. Trophy Mage, Deft Dismissal, Reverse Engineer, and Hope of Girapur. One mana, one one with flying. Sacrifice it until your next turn target player who was dealt damage by Hope of Girapur this turn can't cast non-creature spells. I always do an official launch day box, and I also do a just the sauce box always. And uh, if you're enjoying the video so far, now wouldn't be a bad time to just go down over there and click the like button. It lets me know you're enjoying the video and helps new people find the channel, and I really appreciate it, along with your comments. Malfus Revolutionary, Servo Schematic, Vengeful Rebel, and Scrap Trawler. Three mana, three, two. Whenever a Scrap Trawler or another artifact you control is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, return to your hand, target artifact in your graveyard with lesser converted mana cost. Recursion. Recursion is good in a lot of formats. I don't know if that card's great enough, but a three mana, three, two is fine find playable limited card. I'm going to stack these rares so we can start some new piles. Rogue Refiner. Servo Schematic. Vengeful Rebel. I feel like we like the exact same on comments. Quicksmith Rebel. 4 mana, 3-2. Whenever it's a battlefield target artifact you control gains tap, this artifact gains or deals two damage to target creature or player for as long as you control Quicksmith Rebel. This seems pretty strong, especially multiples. It could get really bananas. B A N A N A S. Certainly ways to deal with it and whatever it gives that ability to, but nonetheless. Invigorated Rampage. Savage Scuttler, Consulate Dreadnought, that's like a 1 mana 7 and a Metallic Mimic, 2 mana 2 1, as it enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. It is that chosen type in addition to its other types. Uh, each other creature control of the chosen type enters the battlefield with an additional 1 1 counter on it. That could get pretty bonkers. Renegade Rallier, Invigorated Rampage, Hidden Stockpile, and another rare, or another, a third mythic, Indomitable Creativity. Destroy X target artifacts and or creatures for each permanent destroyed this way. Its controller reveals cards from the top of his or her library until an artifact or creature card is revealed and exiles that card. Those players put the exiled cards into the battlefield and then shuffle their libraries. It would have been crazy if you had to mill to it and then you didn't have any in your deck, but still a cool card. Foil Mountain, regular Mountain, and a Servo Token. Gaunti's Machinations. Feldahar Guardian, new Splinter Twin combo piece. Pacification Array. And yet, any Undying Partisan. 2-2 two, two for 3 with haste. Whenever an opponent, whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, put a 1-1 one, one counter on Yeheni. Sacrifice another creature. Yeheni gains indestructible end of turn. Very strong. Have we not seen any? Have I missed the $4, $3, $4 uncommon? It's not going to stay that expensive for long. Deadeye Harpooner, Illusionist Stratagem, Feldar Guardian, and Freedom Regent. Six mana, 4-4, four, four, with Improvise. 
And also flying and pumpable for plus two plus zero till end of turn. This is a game under unlimited, that's for sure. It's a game ender in limited. Unless they have removal, then it doesn't do that. Renegade Rallier. Ravenous Intruder. Pima Aether Seer. And Dark Imitations. Five mana. Sorcery. Each opponent sacrifices a creature or planeswalker. Then discards a card. You return a creature or planeswalker card from your graveyard to your hand. Then draw a card. When you cast a Bolus Planeswalker spell, exile Dark Imitations from your graveyard. That planeswalker enters a battlefield with an additional loyalty counter on it. So that could be some foreshadowing into Amon Ket. As we know, Bolus is up to shenanigans with the potential planeswalkers. Gifted Aetherborn. Narnam Renegade, Fatal Push, finally, and Peace Walker Colossus. Three mana, six, six. Um, that can activate, if you get two of these, they can activate each other. One in a white, another target vehicle you control becomes uh, artifact creature on the turn. So very strong as just kind of like an enchantment that does that, but also has crew four. But if you have two of them, they can crew each other. Pretty nuts. Deft Dismissal, Hungry Flames, Windkin Raiders, and Release the Gremlins. Double X and one, which means you pay two for every one trigger, one effect. Destroy X target artifacts, create X 2 2 red gremlin creature tokens. It's pretty fun. Definitely flavorful. Definitely nice to see the Gremlins. The Gremmy Lins. Ironclad Revolutionary, Daredevil Dragster, Tezzeret's Touch, and Rick Rishkar Pima Renegade. Very solid card. Three mana. 2-2. Two, two. When it enters the battlefield, put a 1-1, one, one, put 1-1 one, one counters on each of up to two target creatures. Plus each creature you control with a counter on it gets tap. Add one green to your mana pool. Very nice. I'm sure foil versions of that card will be very solid. And a foil scrounging bandar. Hmm, cat monkey. I bet you baby cat monkeys would be super cute. Adult cat monkeys would probably be cute too, I suppose. I suppose. Gaunti's Machinations, Life Crafter's Gift, Barricade Breaker, and Solemn Recruit. Three mana, two, two. With Double Strike and also Revolt. So it could come into play as a three, three Double Striker. Very, be very careful about that card if you see it. Three, three Double Strike definitely is uh very spicy <laughs> trophy mage spire patrol siege modification secret salvage five mana exile target non-line card from your graveyard search your library for any number of cards with the same name as that card reveal them and put them into your hand then shuffle your library that's very strong in a constructed environment environment i imagine our foil is a foil freedom Free Jam Regent, or Foil Rare. Well, I will have to pre-apologize. Looks like this box is uh, very average, but uh, what can you say? You can't beat the price, and we got to share it together, and that's kind of all that matters to me these days. Definitely care more about these videos and interacting with you in the comment section than just about everything else. Ravenous Intruder, Spire Patrol, Reckless Racer, and Walking B Ballista, Ballista, Double X. I know it's about feel with X, 1-1 one, one counters on it. So if you pay 10, it has 5. You can pay 4 to put a counter on it. Remove a counter from it, and it deals 1 damage to target creature or player. That can get pretty spicy. Really enjoyed hanging out with everyone in the, our Discord chat. I'll leave a link in the description below for that as well. That's a great place to hang out. Untethered Express, Ironclad Revolutionary, Thopter Arrest, and Aether Geode Miner. She looks a lot like someone else that we just opened. Two mana, three one. Whenever it attacks, you get double energy. Pay double energy, exile it, then return to the battlefield under its owner's control. So you could attack it, the energy. If they block profitably, you could bounce it. Or if they try to remove it, you could bounce it. 
That's a nice little, nice little card. Restoration Specialist, Treasure Keeper, Airdrop Aeronauts, and SRAM's Expertise. Four mana, create 311 colorless servo artifacts, uh, tokens. You may cast a card with converted mana cost three or less from your hand without paying its mana costs. High value card. Definitely in a deck where you're going to want um, Inspire, or whatever that, I forget what that ability is called. I think Inspire, right? Treasure Keeper, Rid Scale Tusker, Solid Card, Hidden Stockpile, and Karizev Skyship Raider. Gotta love the pirate. Female pirate, too. 1 3 for 2 with First Strike and Menace. Whenever it attacks, create a legendary red monkey uh, named Regavan that's tapped and attacking. I saw that token at the end of combat. Herner Monkey. Very flavorful card. Don't know that it's that great. First Strike and Menace, I mean, but it's still only one toughness. Um, I don't know. Not that great. Hidden Herbalists. Perilous Predicament. Monstrous Onslaught. Very solid card. And Green Belt Rampager. One mana, three, four. When it enters the battlefield, you pay two energy. If you can't, return it to its owner's hand, and you get one energy. Seems very strong. Very, very strong. That must be... Yeah, I think that card's worth a few bucks, if I remember right. That's pushed. Restoration Specialist, Cogwork Assembler, Reverse Engineer, and Aether Tide Whale. We already read that one. Foil Perilous Predicament. All right, last three packs. If you uh, are new to the channel, just tune in for the Aether Revolt stuff. I will open one of everything from Aether Revolt, the Planeswalker decks, Fat Pack, Booster Boxes. I'll have the pre-release vlog either up before this or shortly after and all sorts of other content. So I'd love to have you as a subscriber. So consider hitting that subscribe button. Cogwork Assembler, Savage Scuttler, Hungry Flames, Hungry Flames, and uh, Carries Zev's Expertise, three mana sorcery, gain control of target creature or vehicle, that's key, till end of turn, untap it against haste till end of turn. Then you may cast a card with converted mana cost of two or less from your hand without paying its mana cost. Defiant Salvager foil. Two packs left. Two packs left. Hidden Herbalists. Crackdown Construct. Fatal Push. There we go. So I guess we're not going to see that very much of that card. Oath of a Johnny. I mean, two in the whole box. Unless I missed one. I might have missed one. If I did, I'm sure everyone in the comments is like, dude, idiot. Let's be honest, there's always someone who says that anyway. <laughs> Last pack, here we go. Ornithopter, Maverick, Stopterist, Barricade Breaker, and Solemn Recruit. Average box is average, but you know what's not average is hanging out with you. And you know we will open many more boxes and many more fat packs. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. We'll talk.